Um, good afternoon. It is approximately uh, to 17 thereabouts. And I made a mistake. Um, it was really afternoon. Things happen like that. But things that don't happen happen to be discrimination. And this is very bizarre that those who live in St. Catharines and Niagara in general don't believe they are uh, bigoted and racist and they are they just don't recognize it I was really impressed by this article and it was written by uh, Rapper Singh and it was, it caught me, caught me so, so by surprise that someone could be so bright as to, to write about the obviousness of the Niagara region, especially um, Niagara region. Um, and this is how it goes. Um, the headline is how prevalent is or the question is how prevalent is racism in the Niagara region? Are you kidding? It continues anti black racism protests that can continue in the United States following the recent deaths of George Floyd. Breonna uh, Taylor and Hamad Albarn, but also including those before him, before them, and those who may come after them, have begun to spread across Canada, including here in Niagara. You don't even know it, but it is. The protests happened across the region to be identified as locals wanting to stand up and stand with those impacted down south. But in reality, it has no recognized that sys systemic racism issues right here in Niagara as well. From policing, education, housing, hiring, discrimination, and more. It's a quote. Niagara has an issue with racism in the sense that a lot of folk in the region think they're not racist <laughs> and think they're, uh, that there no history here. That's a lie. Said Kahadawada Henry, human rights and anti-racism -ra advisor at Barack U. Quote, it fails to acknowledge the history that St. Catharines specifically and Niagara region more broadly have had with the black community. It ignores the ways in which Niagara occupies indigenous land. It's so true. There are so many bigots and races out there you don't even know it. You, you, you don't even know you should be ashamed of yourself. You don't. Henry said, even the fact I have a slight speech impediment, you would laugh at. You're actually laughing at yourself. Henry said it starts with the commit comments and jokes. It's true how ugly you are. 
and jokes that some people think they can laugh off, but in reality speaks to a deeper issue as to how racism folks are seen in greater Western society and disenfranchised. Sele, not quick, not exactly how to pronounce this word, so you have to bear with me. It is Sele was written, that's, I will spell it out for the person. It's S A L E N, last name W A Z. I R U D D I N with the National Region Anti Racism Association said people need to recognize that what's happening in the United States could happen here. It's not going to happen, it is here. Anyone with uh, observant eyes knows that. Quote, we've seen already in other parts of Ontario that there is deep systematic racism. You, all you have to do is get internet and look at the statistics that go right up. Jews, well, Jews, gays, Muslims, um, blacks. It's just, it's not you're intolerable, many of you. He said, we know there's a long history of racism right here in Canada, including anti-black racism specifically. Well, actually, two, two. One is it not just black, it is um, Aboriginal. Um, um, in the United States, for uh, for uh, um, blacks, uh, it's been horrible because they were being uh, hauled from Africa to live in slavery in the United States. But it's the same thing in Canada. Sometimes I just want to think say to you, what an ignorant lot of you. We stole their land, we stole their religions, we stole their laws, and we wanted to merge them into Caucasian society. We had no right to do that. We just feel we did. Anyway, I continue. In the present day, Henry said, People are racialized through areas such as the less job opportunity. That's true. The educational system and the way blacks in an indigenous history is taught in the classroom. If there is black history being taught, is you, it usually comes in February which is the coldest and shortest month of the year. Kind of thoughtless, you know. While some say kids are too young to learn about racism, which I demonstrated yesterday in my um, story, calling me a faggot. Her parents, Niagara's parents, are teaching them to hate. How disgusting is this? What is such a disgusting area this is? Anyway, to continue on and to repeat, while well, some say kids are too young to learn about racism, Henry said, if you're young enough to experience racism, you're old enough to learn about it. That little girl did. 
all those little kids did too. When discussing less, less job opportunity, this is true, Henry referred to an experiment conducted with a white friend in which they both applied to the same job at the same time, and the friend received the job without an interview minutes after applying, and Henry never got a call back. How disgusting. You sort of wonder how these people can be so hypocritical, so lying, so ugly. Continue. Despite Henry having work experience and the friend having never held a job, that could be attributed to the look and spelling of their names, Henry said. It is. Because you're bigots. You are racist. You just don't admit. While the verbal jokes are easily identified as racist, there are also the non-verbal cues that um, racialized people notice but what but while people don't and that's true you don't understand it, like even with Jews Muslims you just don't know. you're so self in love you're weird actually to quote and the clutching your purse when you go into an elevator. And this is true. All you women who consider yourself to be so wonderful and open, who listen to this? I repeat, it's clutching your purse when you go into an elevator. It's following someone in the store. It's dismissing people's history. It's imply implying that their culture is Subpar, Henry said, adding that body language, tone of voice, and looks are examples of mice microaggressions, which articulate a narrative prison of color, which pick up on but a white person might not. Do you know how many lying Caucasians out there? You don't even know how to train yourself out of being a bigot and a racist. You just do that. I continue. Quote, I always say that the microaggressions of racism are things that allow racism to have a heartbeat for another day. Henry said, the truth. Henry said, being passed up for a job because of your name, teachers treating persons of color, difficulty, and those non-verbal cues are example of micro, micro aggression that's entirely true. I'm telling you, you remember that story I told, the one that's real but isn't, that is, the teacher did nothing. That was humiliating to me or anyone. He did nothing. I continue, continue through the Niagara Regional Police Service NRPS website, you can get redirected to City Protect Call. I was very happy that existed because I would have gone to it myself. <sighs> Which shows a map of NRPS sub 
uh, submitted incidences, including each crime as well as the date and type of crime. M m information is always important. Yeah. The map shows violent crimes, such as assaults and sexual offenses, property and theft, disorder and disturbance incidences, and more, but not hate crim crimes or crimes motivated by hate. There was a guy I lived beside. He would get terribly drunk, you know, and he would get on my property, or the property I kind of, well, a friend bought me a house, and I guess I'm the renter, but he just came onto my property and driveway. He wouldn't even get out of there. He was stinking drunk, but he got a lot away with it. Do you know I had to call the police 30 times about him? would take this stereo um, things hold it again, to uh, drive me crazy. People like in St. Catharines get away with these things. The only satisfaction is you got a $400 tick, ticket for being loud. But nothing happens in this area. You got to keep in mind I was born in Vancouver. I grew up with Orientals, um, ethnic groups. When I moved to Toronto, I just found all the racism it was way too much. In the Montreal, the same. But it changed in, Mo in Toronto dramatically, but it has not changed here. You're the worst kind of bigot and racist, and you hide it. I continue. The NRPS should also designate hate crimes in its submission so we know when and where they took the place, which protected groups with attacks. And what the crime was, was the Rudin, I apologize for not pronouncing your, your name, correctly. All we know is that is there were 17 hate crimes last year, but not where, when, who, and what. You can multiply that by so many times. He added that the St. Catharines anti-racism Advisory Committee has been working towards setting up reporting and monitoring um, channels to help better understanding the extent of hate crime. The word pl the work plan can be seen as quote page thirty two of the city's social sustainability com committee meeting from June 16th. should remember these things. Because if you're Muslim and does something to you, well, you do something about it and don't hide it. I mean, you know, it bothers me. I mean, Jews have been so humiliated their entire generation. They just put up, they, they don't even just put up with it, shouldn't do that. You shouldn't really fight like all the others, including gays, you know. You're treated down here pathetically. It's not the gay who is the wrong, it's you. I swear, some of these guys who actually call me faggot, I half wonder, are they the ones who are gay? I can't believe it, you know. I continue. While race, racism is prevalent in today's society, true, 
and more data is needed to understand crime that it exists true. It's also important to acknowledge the deep-rooted history of racism, said Henry. Quote, I think people like to deny colonial history because they don't want to think out loud about the fact that this country's very foundation is based on genocide. Haven't you fucking well realized that? I sometimes think the vast majority of Canadians are so stupid that they don't realize they were squashing tribal um, aboriginals into nothing. How crude. I enforced assimilation, Henry said. That would mean they have to acknowledge that there is systematic racism here and we are not better than the United States. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's so many liars up here. Well, there are a lot of layers that need to be fixed around the issue of racism that exists around the world. And in uh, Niagara, I mean really Niagara, getting to the root of some problems could be a start. Henry suggested that mental health resources in schools and the community, that little girl who called me a faggot should have been there to see someone who might see her quite differently in a positive way. Her parents are useless. Her parents are, you know. I repeat, Henry suggests that mental health resources in schools and the community need to recognize racism in their programming, specifically including programs for people of color by people of color, but also that the curriculum collectively rectifies that it is fundamentally racist, and it's just not racist, you know. Wazi Rudin, I hope I got that correct, correct that time, that the economic aspect needs fixing. As a recent study showed, black households are more than 3.5 times likely to be food insecure than white houses and twice more likely when adjusted for income. Home ownerships, education, and immigration status. Henry added that hiring practices must improve as well. As a society, it's acknowledging that racism exists right in your own for a home. It's true, it is. And all of your freaking houses, and you close that door, what happens? And there is a need to call your friends and family out for racial behavior. When you keep your mouth shut and don't acknowledge it, and you turn your voice away from issue of racism, you're condoning that behavior, and that's true. You're acting as a bystander and saying, I'm going to allow this to continue, Henry said. What good is that? if someone else is being harried in the process. Now I'm going to tell you a little story. So my mother had died at such a young age and I was facing death too, you know. I fell into a depression. And I was sitting in a theater alone and there was one guy behind me alone. 
and a character in the film was black. And I don't know what it is in me because I'm not that way, but the fact is, I am. I made some derogatory comment about the African American. And it was the man behind me told me, I can't remember his exactly words, but it made me realize what a stupid thing I said. And I will tell you my little testicles shrunk into nothingness because I felt ashamed. I remember that. And I recommend that to all of you, males and females. Realize we're all bigots, we're all racist, and we should deal with it. I continue on still. Henry added, that conversations about racism may not be comf comfortable for some, but nothing worth di di doing is. If people want to learn more and be provided resources on anti-racism, Henry can be contacted at... Now, um, I will give you his email, but I tried to an email uh, send him to give permission to uh, actually um, uh, was going to say broadcast um, uh, this uh, this this one, but uh, I could not affect uh, uh, get through him email. But I will give you his email, and I apologize to the man. But his um, email is khenry at brock dot ca. Now, I'm very happy telling you about that. Now, um, see, the reason why I like about um, all of this are two people, the writer who wrote it, he has my admiration of doing it. A newspaper who actually published it. And uh, Catherine Henry, who is human rights and anti-racism advisor at Barack University. I admire her. And if any, could be anyone who would be like her. You don't take any crap. And they call me a faggot. What you're doing is you're hurting me. You don't even know my sexual. <laughs> you don't know anything about me. You are so disgusting. And you don't even know how to be disgusting as I was in a theater when I said something stu stupid and was corrected by a man who made me next to nothing. I trust in someone this um, story, this, um, what I have been telling you, has some influence on, on me, like being somewhat reasonable and to realize it's really important. What we did to Aboriginal it's disgusting. Totally disgusting. Gonna close now. This is rather depressing to have done all that. But I do um, admire Ketawa. E. I have problems. I told you I have a speech problem. But my IQ. 32,000 times more than yours. I cl close out now. Thank you for listening.